Hello students. Today we are going to be going over 2.3, identifying functions. So on your packet you should be on page 45 at the top. I'm going to read a little bit of this. Objective, I can uh, identify functions. What is a function? A function is a relation where each element of the domain is associated with only one element of the range. Each input x has one and only one output y. Now there's a couple ways to tell whether <clears throat> something is a function or not. If you're given coordinates, all you have to do is see if the x values repeat. If they do, then it is not a function. Okay? And then I will show you the vertical line test if, it, if it, you're given a graph. So if we look at this right here, on example one, we see we have all these different points. So the domain are the x values. Um, is this disc discrete or continuous? Well, since it's a set of points, it has to be discrete. Now we have to find out whether it's a function or not a function. So we look at our x values. We have a 5. Oh, and we're probably supposed to write these in order from least to greatest. So let's see. We have 5. We have 3. 2, 0, and negative 1. So if we're going to do an order from least to greatest, we're going to start with negative 1 first, and then 0, and then 2, and then 3, and then 5. So there we have our domain. Now, is each one different? 5 is different from 3, 3 is different from 2, 0, and it's all different. So it's going to be a function. Okay, we're going to go ahead and list the range. Now, it's okay if we have the same number twice in the range. It still is a function. But we do want to put the lowest first, which is going to be negative 5. And if it's listed twice, we still don't have to list it twice here. So if we can put negative 5, then we go negative 3. Now see how negative 2 is listed twice? We only need to list it once. And then we're done with our range. And we're finished. So it's a discrete relation here. It's a function because every x, x value is different. The range or the y values don't matter when deciding whether something is a function or not. OK. Now we're going to jump. Uh, we're going to do number 2. Go over number two on that same page. And here's our graph. So we want to say whether it's discrete or continuous. And if it's a set of points, it's going to be what? Discrete. So it's not continuous. OK. Next, we're going to decide if it's a function or not a function. And on a graph, we do our straight line test, where you take your pencil. We're going to do our vertical line test. And when we go across the, the graph, we're going to go, bam. OK, that's hit that point once. Bam. So you can only have one bam at a time going across here. I hit that point, bam. I hit that point, bam. And now what happens? Bam, bam. I hit two at once. So if I hit two, bam, 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 that means it's not a function. So I'm going to put a not a function. It fails at what point? x equals 1 right there. Because see how you have those two points in the same point? And then we go on and go bam, bam, and, and they're separate. See? Here, though, bam, bam, that means it fails at 1. And then if we want to do the domain, we say our lowest number is negative 3. And I'm going to list it over here. So, um negative 3, and I'm going to go across, negative 1. And again, see how these are our x values as we go across 1, 3, and then 4. OK. Now for our range values, we're going to start at the lowest and go up. And we see at negative 3, there's two of them at negative 3, so we put negative 3. 
we're going up. Oh, there's one at negative two. And you pretend you have this this horizontal line going up. And then we go, oh, there's one at negative one. And then one. And then two. And that's our range. So, and those two have been done for you. So let's go on to page 46 and do number five right here whether it's discrete or continuous. What do you think? That's correct. See how these are all connected? If it makes any type of curve or line, it's continuous. Now we need to find out if it's a function or not a function. Now, when I do my vertical line test, I go across, bam, 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 bam. There's a lot of bams, but you don't get two at the same time. So it's continuously um, getting BAMs because it's continuous, but it is going to be a function because you don't get two at once because they're just slightly off a of vertical. So it's a function. Okay. Domain left to right. Since this arrow shows this, it's going to go on and on forever this way and on and on for the same pattern this way. So our domain is going to be the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And again, remember with infinity, you use parentheses because you can never qu quite reach infinity. Okay. Now for our range, we want to look low to high. So it goes from negative one on up to three. It doesn't go below negative one and it doesn't go beyond three. But it does include the endpoint. So I'm going to put a bracket at negative one. Again, you go the lowest number first and we're going up to three. And it includes that as well. Okay. Now, we're done. Okay. You guys can get the rest of this. Finish page 46. You rock.